What's up guys, it's your boy the Bad Wolf here to bring you some great news. Alright, so for all those people out there who were believing that there was no such thing as a five-star U.S. national passport, okay, card or book, um, we've gotten more in. Now I know I've kept it kind of hush-hush, so don't be mad. I mean, I know we've talked about it before. Um, now I'm going to apologize because this is going to be probably a little blurry and you're not. it's not going to be easy to see, but I'm going to try to get you closer in to show you that there's a couple more people here that got the uh, yeah it's gonna be too blurry okay all right well I tried um, I suppose I could take the camera off the mount put it up to the screen so you could see it but anyway all right long story short um, a couple more people got the five star okay so this goes to once again prove that we have obtained um, I'm not gonna say flawless but the ability to obtain the mythical hidden five-star passport card for sure. Now, keep in mind the books are still, you know, not showing the uh, stars on the left side of the picture. They are still, as far as we've been able to see, not showing the uh, proper um, uh, special... Uh, endorsements on page like 27 or 35 depending on which book you have so they're not showing them on there um, as far as the the hidden coding to the um, uh, ghost print and the refraction uh, ink they're not showing it on there either okay um, like I said according to the guy at the post office he said that basically what's gonna happen is that how you fill out your passport is just how that you're going to get it um, and that they're probably going to be removing all indications of that because they don't want people to know this information. So as of right now, all we do know is that um, the explanatory statement that we're using, the uh, declarations we're using have been getting people four and five stars or asterisks on their card. Okay. Um, is there anything more than that? I'm opening up the door. Um, we don't know. I'm going to be bringing you guys some new information because we're going to be trying some new stuff. Um, and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, You've got to be patient with me on that. So for now, we have definitely achieved it. If you guys really want to see, I can, you know, if you contact me, uh, I can email you, you know, the picture. Don't worry about those people who have sent me their, their stuff. Um, as you see, it's been redacted either by you or by me, so I won't share, you know, the person's info, but you can see that. Now, as I told you before, when we first started the channel, um, I had only officially seen one person um, who sent me their information confidentially um, about their five-star, okay, or five-asterisk passport card, and I verified that. Um, since then, obviously, people have been getting theirs, and people have been emailing me about it, you know, especially four has been way consistent. Now we're starting to get a lot of fives in here. Okay, so I didn't share all that information before. We just kept going on with the process. I kind of kept it quiet. Uh, but now that we're getting it pretty consistent, um, it's, it's, it's awesome. Don't be discouraged if you don't get the five star. Okay, threes are okay, it, it, but it's the lower end of it. Um, your fours are better. Um, those, are, those are good. Um, the fives are where, you know, it'd be great to get. So if you get a three or a four... Uh, sometime later, a couple months or a year, whatever, however you see fit, reapply with your information. Reapply with better um, information. Reapply with the same information. Um, I've been told that sometimes it takes, you know, six months of you being on a three or four um, and then reapplying before they're going to give you your four or five. All right. They basically want to make sure that you're uh, not going to be a threat or a problem, um, you know whatever their their reasoning is and then they'll finally give it to you so don't be discouraged it's a process okay it took you your entire life to get contracted 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 down what's well, going to take your your a good amount of time to get contract yourself out or you know reverse it um so it's just going to take some time um so yeah so we've been consistently doing that uh and a lot of people have been very very obviously very happy um, thank you guys for the compliments. Thank you guys for the appreciations on helping you to get there. Um, I do read those emails. So we have done it. We have been cracking the code. Now remember, this is all educational purposes only. Um, there is no official methods to doing this. 
Um, and we don't know what those stars or asterisks mean because remember those are uh, considered uh, national security if you will and so uh, hypothetically I mean well truthfully we don't we don't know okay nobody does know and they're not gonna give you that information and to the people out there who are reading the internet and going well I read a comment and it said uh, that that's for your threat level and so they're not gonna let you fly if you have more than you know two or three stars okay so if that was true, why would they blatantly put that on the card? Okay, and I've personally called these these people, and there no one will admit to what they are. So unless it's an inside agent telling you that, I don't know. But see, here's the problem with that too. Then for most of us who've had three stars, okay, because most average U.S. citizens, when you apply, especially if you try to do it right, they'll give you three stars. That's the lowest of of them allowing you to be free. So why is it then I can get that and a couple of months later I then reapply with the you know same paperwork basically just making my declarations just some words but then my threat level goes down that doesn't make sense or let's say even then my threat level goes up let's just say that does that make sense okay if it makes sense to you that's great um but no I can't just send, hey guys, I'm less of a threat, so like, just be cool and like change my status. Oh, sure, Mr. Love, we totally had you, we, we totally had you wrong, it's a misunderstanding, we got gotcha. you, stamp. Now, nah, come on. What does make sense is you properly identifying yourself to be a U.S. national, and once you use their codes and the proper terminology, and you go to the Department of State website, and you look up a certificate of non-US nationality and you see, see that this is the information on there and you declare that and all the rest of the things that are in you know uh, the explanatory statements that you know we provide you're probably going to be getting the your appropriate information like I said the guy at the post office told me he's like it's all in how you fill out that explanatory statement and your application so if you only do your DS-11 the correct way but you don't have an explanatory statement you're probably only going to get three you know you make your proper declarations of being the exact terms the exact US codes for being a US national you send them proof you send them um, the codes which is all the research I've done which is the research other people have done some of, some of us have worked together to create this for you the people who are not blind who are waking up or who know exactly what they want to declare we've done all of that uh, like the one person uh, asked, well, what's all in the kit? You know, okay, well, um, the fact that you don't have to use your social and we have uh, case proof in there from the issuing agencies uh, that you don't have to have it in there. Are they going to put it on their DS-11? No. But other people who have paved the way for us have provided that information. That's in the packet. Um, other things in there, like what... Uh, is your true state citizenship title? Well, in Wisconsin, you're known as a Wisconsinite. Um, in Illinois, you're an Illinoisian. Um, Florida, I think it's Floridian. So wherever you're at, um, that information is on there. And other, and other aspects of declarations are all in there. All right. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. And then I guess just to tidy up with like two other things that have come up this week. Um, like I said, uh, proving that this stuff is legit and works, you're just going to have to try it and do it. All right. Like I said, um, one lady hit me up and she's like, oh, she's like, I know you're in Wisconsin. La, la, la. Yeah. So what? I haven't hidden where I'm at. I use my real name. I mean, if I wanted to hide my name and my channel, I could have done that. If I didn't want anybody to find out my information, I would have hid it. All right. I work with people. I know people in the military. I know how to do all these things. I, I I study computers, okay? I went to school for electrical engineering, electrical engineering technology and software. I knew about the internet and electronics way before most of you guys even had your hands on them, all right? So if I wanted to hide, I could hide. This is not about hiding. This is about helping people who want to become a U.S. national. You want to be free of the system because that's what I did. That's what I wanted to do. When I stumbled across this information, I wanted that option. It's my, it's my birthright. It's your birthright. But if you don't want to, you don't have to. If you want to stay a U.S. citizen and be a U.S. national, you can. You just use either either side, either jurisdiction when you go out in the world. Like I said, I've had federal officers contact me and tell me this is exactly what we do. When we're working, we are in the public. When we go home, we are in the private. All right? It's, it's just a fact of the matter. 
It's just most of you guys have never known you had that option. That's all it is. I'm providing you with educational information, what you do with it and how you process it. And if you want to research it to validate it for yourself, that's what it is. I'm putting the tray out there. What you do with the hors d'oeuvres that are on there are up to you. Eat it, throw it away, give it to somebody else, whatever. Frankly, I don't care. All right, I'm not going to prove myself to anybody that I'm legit. I'm a real person. This is what we do. I don't hide anything here. You can see my cameras in the background. This is, you know, this is where I live. <laughs> I mean, most people don't even put their real names on there. They go by this, that, and the other to hide all their stuff. All right. So, other than that, um, I can tell you that um, the processes have been working. Um, will they eventually hide this information on the card? I don't know. I would have to probably say it's going to happen. Um, because by, there's no law that says that they have to depict this information on the card. They've already done it on the book. So, the fact that we've gotten the process pretty well down, pretty well oiled, um, we're sitting pretty. So there you go, people. We have accomplished everything. So I thank all of you guys for the support. Because uh, without it, I would not have probably kept going. Um, thank you for the donations. That helps to keep the lights on. Helps to keep you know everything else going. Because some people out there think, oh, well, you're getting that YouTube money. I, I, I don't get YouTube money. My channel's not monetized. All right? Um, I'm not going to probably ever do that. I don't see the need for it. And I don't think I would ever even make enough money. All right? And for me, it's not about that. I, I have a daytime job. Like one guy hit me up. He said, oh, this guy doesn't answer comments. Because I have a real job. <laughs> I, I, I'm not Beyonce. You know, I don't, I don't post Eminem and Jay-Z videos and whatever else. You know what I mean? I don't have a million subscribers. Um, you know, so I have to work and do normal stuff. I don't have time to answer two or three hundred questions and whatever else. All right. And I hate to be this way, but it's like, if you're serious, email me for a consultation, send the fee over, and we can talk. You can have my ear for an hour. You know, you want more information on me, that, like everybody else has done? That's how you do it. You know what I mean? I deal with consultations Monday through usually Thursday, um, Saturday afternoon, Sunday all day. I've been booked, all right, by happy people. Um, so I appreciate you guys. That being said, um, thank you for letting old man have your ear. Um, discounts and offers are down below and also the files we talked about are down below and I'm gonna be making some more videos I got tons of new material for you guys to learn fascinating cool stuff um, met some new allies in the biz uh, so for those people who have you know contact me consultations and offer your services um, thank you I will look uh, look out for you um, I also do shout outs so if you guys want me to mention your business, uh, where you know, whatever you guys want, you know, for like you know, twenty-five bucks, whatever, uh, I'll throw that in there. Um, other than that, take care of yourself, stay healthy, and uh, look forward to more videos. Oh, and an update for those people who've asked. Um, yes, I am making the Bat Cave, uh, where I'm going to do some more filming. Um, it's taking a lot longer than I expected, uh, but hopefully, you guys find it kind of cool um, when I'm done. And uh, that's where I'm going to be shooting, either that or I'm going to use another room that uh, I have empty right now. And I might just turn that into like a filming area. I mean, this is okay, but this is only just like a small office area, you know, so I want, want something a little nicer. Um, not that I need to, you know, have like a, a huge office or anything, but just, uh, you know, so it looks a little bit or, more organized. I'm kind of, of a perfectionist, I guess, in that way. Um, so, you know, with everything, update, motivate. You have to continue to promote yourself, okay? 